the Japanese archipelago, due to its climate and topography, has been struck by various natural hazards such as earthquakes, tsunami, volcanic eruptions, torrential rain, and snow. As the frequency and intensity of disasters are projected to increase in the near future, maximizing efforts to strengthen the country's disaster resilience is an urgent task. National Research Institute for Earth Science and Disaster Resilience focuses on science for resilience. Disaster resilience can be promoted through a forecast, prevention, and response and recovery. Since the establishment of NID in 1963, we have been responsible for building a framework for disaster risk reduction to all types of natural hazards. Recently, we promote a holistic approach toward disaster resilience through interdisciplinary and transdisciplinary research on methods to prepare and respond to disasters. We are cooperating with various stakeholders and partners from all over the world in effectively reducing disaster risks and making our society more disaster resilient. The drive behind NIED to become Japan's leading innovation hub for disaster resilience is emphasized by its unique large-scale experimental facilities and the implementation of a sophisticated observation network. E-Defense is an earthquake testing facility equipped with the world's largest 3D shake table. The table can carry full-scale structures weighing up to 1,200 tons. It precisely simulates strong ground motion, such as the Kobe earthquake in 1995. The shake table tests allow researchers to examine the damage and collapse process caused by a large earthquake on a full-scale structure. The large-scale rainfall simulator can reproduce rainfall of up to 300 millimeters per hour and is used to conduct research into landslides, debris flow, flooding, and other water-related hazards. The Cryospheric Environment Simulator is the only experimental facility in the world capable of reproducing near-natural snow throughout the year. It aims to bring clarity to snow and ice phenomena and verify the effectiveness of disaster countermeasures regarding roof snow, snow accretion, blizzards, and avalanches. Monitoring of waves on land and seafloor, called MOLAS, is the fundamental observation network composed of observation stations installed on land and ocean floor throughout Japan. The purpose of MOLAS is to provide comprehensive, accurate, and rapid observation and monitoring of earthquake, tsunami, and volcano events across Japan and its offshore areas. From 2019, NIED began construction of InNet, a large-scale seafloor observation network in preparation for a megathrust earthquake that is expected to occur in the near future. MOLAS retrieves observation data from approximately 2,100 observation stations, and it is used for both basic research and disaster mitigation. MOLAS data can be processed in real time and continuously monitored on the Kyoshin monitor, which visualizes and live streams current ground shaking in Japan. We provide an essential data for the earthquake early warning and tsunami warning system operated by the Japan Meteorological Agency. In Japan, there are 111 active volcanoes, many of which pose risks due to future eruption. To strengthen our efforts in volcanological research and its practical application to volcanic hazard mitigation, the Japan Volcanological Data Network was formed in 2019. JVDN is the only system in Japan for sharing volcanological data, which serves as a platform that combines observation, forecast, and countermeasure data. For example, immediately after an eruption, we can quickly input and share data on volcanic ash transport and dispersion. At the Storm Flood and Landslide Research Division at NID, I'm looking into the engineering application of rainfall data. 
Our approach involves examining historical rainfall data and disaster records to establish a link between the variability of rainfall events at a particular location during a certain period and how that may affect the risk of weather-related disasters all over Japan. If we can find the high-risk area before the occurrence of a possible disaster, then we can concentrate more effort on the area so that we can mitigate disasters effectively. As a Center for Comprehensive Management of Disaster Information, we focused on the use of satellite data and web-based information sharing platform to support decision-making and situational awareness during all phases of disaster management. In October 2019, Typhoon Hagibis made landfall in Japan, causing widespread flooding. Using satellite observation, we extracted GIS data of flooded areas and simply imported them with building data to estimate the number of flooded buildings by municipality. The results were published on our crisis response site and shared to disaster response organizations. Based on these practices, we plan to build a system that automatically aggregate and generate information related to each respective disaster. We are uh, working with uh, young generations. They are the future target of a mega scale disasters. In Japan, interpret mega earthquakes are anticipated to occur in the near future. Extreme weather and climate events have increased in recent decades all over the world. Many of them are exacerbated by climate change and poses a major threat to sustainable development worldwide. As such, the importance of disaster resilience is more significant than ever. We are deliberating how science and technology for disaster risk reduction should be to protect lives and livelihood. NID will continue to promote research and development towards the realization of a society resilient to disasters.